Second one. This is a biggie. Something we call the retina display. What's that? <laughs> well, in any display, there are pixels. Here's four of them. We start off with the retina display by dramatically increasing the pixel density. Four times as many pixels in the same amount of space. Now, why is that important? Well, let's make more pixels. And let's say we want to draw the letter A. And this is the outside boundary of one of the strokes of a letter, the letter A. Well, as you can see, we turn on pixels inside that stroke. We can get far more precision the more pixels we have. And we play all sorts of tricks by putting different levels of gray pixels on that line as well to try to fuzz it for our eye. But when we zoom out of this, what you can see is that because we have four times as many pixels, we get really, really sharp text compared to what we normally get on displays of lesser resolution. Now, the retina display has 326 pixels per inch. This is... There's never been a display like this on a phone. People haven't even dreamed about a display like this on a phone. But it's more than that. It turns out that there's a magic number right around 300 pixels per inch that when you hold something around 10 or 12 inches away from your eyes is the limit of the human retina to differentiate the pixels. And so they're so close together when you get at this 300 pixels per inch threshold that all of a sudden things start to look like continuous, continuous curves. Like text looks like you've seen it in a fine printed book unlike you've ever seen on an electronic display before. And at 326 pixels per inch, we are comfortably over that limit. And it's extraordinary. 